And if you're a fan of local high school basketball, you know all about St. Anthony in Jersey City. And today, sadly, the news broke that the school will be closing its doors for the final time at the end of this school year. Uh, for months, St. Anthony has been trying to raise money and stay open to no avail. And head coach and school president Bobby Hurley has led them to 28 New Jersey state titles. Rarely does a school the size of St. Anthony's merit this, but it should because basketball made you find out something about the place that the families of the non-athletes know, that they've gotten a good education. If you come here and you spend $6,100, you were able to save a little money to go to college, which everybody does. 20 straight, over 20 years straight of every kid being accepted to college. Not every basketball player, every student. So uh, those things speak for themselves, and that's, you know, that's we kind of hang our hat with what we've done. And uh, is it extremely sad? Yeah, it's, uh, it's brutal. Absolutely brutal. And we're now lucky enough to be joined on the phone by Bob's son, Danny Hurley, who played his college ball at Seton Hall, coaches currently at Rhode Island. But most importantly in this conversation, he played his high school ball at St. Anthony. And Danny, how emotional of a day has this been for you and your family? Yeah, it's it just, uh, you know, it, it, you know, it went from, you know, something that over the past, I think, bunch of years, uh, you know, you, you been talked about the potential of the school closing. It's, you know, it's had a lot of, you know, financial issues, but I just always thought it would, you know, find a way, uh, you know, the school to, to pull through and, and, uh, it's just a kind of shocking and just, uh, you know, sad day. And what happens now? Uh, students, faculty, and staff, and your family's been so involved in this school for so long. How involved do you think your family will be now in this process? Yeah, I mean, they'll, uh, they'll take this graduating class, uh, you know, across the finish line and, you know, in, in the end of June. And, uh, you know, and, and obviously make sure the kids that are in school there, uh, you know, find good situations for them. You know, my, uh, you know, my dad and, and mom and you know, family, uh, you know, I've uh, been committed to the school for a long time and, and uh, they'll make sure that the, you know, the kids find the, the right place to go. And how's your dad holding up? I can't imagine this has been easy in any way for him, um, but in no way was this a failure on his part. It was so circumstantial. He did everything he could to keep this school afloat. How's he holding up emotionally? It's been a very hard day, you know, for my dad. He's such a tough man and a, and a strong man. And, uh, you know, he's willed, you know, the school through his, uh, to, I think, through his, you know, through his efforts, his fundraising. Uh, obviously, um, you know, this is like, a, you know, it's like a member of the family. It's something that's been so personal and so close to him and, and my mom and the relationship that they've formed, and not just the basketball players, but all the students and, and, and teachers, and all the former students and, and obviously the former players. It's just, you know, 50 years of doing something, you know, amazing. And then when it ends, it's, uh, you know, it, it's so hard. It's sad news, sad news today. Danny Hurley, we really appreciate you joining us. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, Austin.